Welcome to the Marketing Automation Show. I'm Joey Keller, your host. If you are watching the show, you're probably sending out lots of emails with Marik, and you would expect that Marik separates emails into marketing emails and transactional emails. And I also thought so. I made some tests in the past weeks, and it's kind of shocking what I found. There are actually six different ways how Marik manages emails, what you send out. Watching this video will help you to debug email sending problems and also will help you to keep a healthy reputation. I will cover all of six ways and we're going to create a nice matrix so you understand how the different emails are handled. If you like this video, please subscribe. So let's talk about marketing emails versus transactional emails and I would like to break it down for you today how the different type of emails uh, are used in Modic and what are the restrictions and what are the differences between the different ways how we send emails. Okay, so let's let's begin. Um, you could normally you would um, classify your emails based on transactional emails and marketing emails and they should uh, behave differently. So you want to make sure that transactional emails are always delivered and you want to make sure that marketing emails are delivered in a different fashion. For example, they don't, that marketing emails obey unsubscribe. Transaction emails maybe don't. Uh, and that would be expected, but let's see how Modic handles that because there is many different ways you can actually send emails. And I created a matrix here where I'm showing how the different type of emails react on the book precedence how, which emails you can send multiple times, which types of emails ignore unsubscribes, and which emails obey frequency settings. So let's see first what all this means, what is about uh, multiple and so on. So uh, I will start from the, from, the, from the end. What is the fre frequency? So you might not be aware of this, but in Modic there is a setting uh, where you can set a certain channel, for example, email channel, how often you can receive a marketing message or any message actually, but we will go into this later, on this channel. And the default setting was always like null, which means uh, doesn't matter. And then if you want to, you can change it to another setting. Uh, from Audit 4.01, you actually get there a setting called zero, so there's a very good chance that you run, run into an error that suddenly you cannot send multiple messages to your contacts because uh, they are all the time rescheduled. I will cover that in a moment. So this setting is in the among the settings, email settings, and uh, that's the frequency rule. How it works is that normally you send out a marketing message to your, to your contacts, and if that contact already reached the limit of the frequency, then this email won't be delivered anymore. And you see something like this here uh, on the timeline saying that, okay, this one cannot be sent, uh, but I rescheduled it for 16th of October. And there's this other setting when you send emails, this one. Here you can set how many times we should try a certain email before, we, before it expires, let's say, a certain marketing email. And if this number is, let's say, three, and here you are counting the attempts, and if you run out of attempts, then the email will be not delivered, that marketing email won't be delivered anymore. And not all type of emails obey this frequency. I will exactly show you which one do. So that's the frequency setting. Ignoring the unsubscribe. So okay, let, let's say you have, a, you have a contact and that contact unsubscribes, then suddenly under his profile picture, you will see do not contact. In the channel name, most likely that's email. And in the timeline, you see that this person unsubscribed from this channel. This person will be handled, managed as unsubscribed in the future, but it doesn't mean that you cannot write him an email. And we're gonna cover that as well, uh, when he gets an email and when he doesn't. Uh, the thir third one is, uh, third um, attribute, uh, for me is if that certain sending method allows multiple sendings. For example, when you use a um, segment email and you try to send the same segment email with the same ID email, 
you try to send through the same contact twice, it won't run through anymore. So for example, you have two segments. In one segment, you have two people. In the other 100, first you send to the two people, email goes out. Then you add the other segment to the same email, same segment email with the same ID. And these two people are actually in the, in the new segment as well. They won't be getting that email anymore. So you will eventually send it no, only to 98 people because those contacts already received this email. Segment emails are in general marketing emails. So that's why Marik is trying to make sure that you're not over spamming someone. And the third, third setting is bulk precedence. This is super important. I think it's the most important from all. So bulk precedence is a tiny setting. Uh, it's more like uh, entry into the header of your emails, which will tell Gmail and other providers that, hey, I'm actually sending bulk. So please, if I'm sending a lot, don't punish me for that because I admit that I'm sending a lot. Yeah, so you can leave this out and then you will inbox the first couple of emails what you send. But once Gmail is noticing that you're sending a lot, it will be like, dude, you're sending a lot. You should tell that to me. You should put it in the header bulk. Yeah, then I expect that you will send a lot and I will not think you are a spammer and trying to inbox no matter what. So that's why the bulk precedence is very important that you're sending like a big batches of emails. You just make one, uh, you release one huge email flow with the same content, then this bulk precedent, bulk, bulk precedent should be there because it will make sure that uh, Gmail also understands that lots of these are coming, no worries, I'm not spamming, I'm announcing it, so please don't punish me for that. And very often when you try to inbox, you just send out one email, you see that it inboxes, then you send a lot, and then it doesn't inbox anymore. This is one of the reasons why that can why that can happen. So this is super important that if you're sending bulk, for example, a newsletter to 10,000 clients, uh, customers or, or contacts, you are always mentioning that it's a bulk. And Modic does this for you, not in all cases. So I tested it out and we're gonna look into exactly when it does what. Welcome back. Let's see now uh, some concrete examples uh, how the different ways we're sending email uh, influencing uh, the bulk precedence, the frequency, unsubscribe, and so on. So let's look at the, the segment email first. Probably that's the most common used feature in Modic. Um, you're sending out a, a segment email to a certain segment. What really happens? So first of all, the bulk precedence will be added. Why? Because you are sending bulk. You are sending out the same content, almost the same content. Even if you are uh, customizing or personalizing the email, it will be still pretty much the same. So the bulk precedence will be added. So if you send out a segment email, you will find this in the header. Allow multiple. Can you send the same email with the same ID to the one, the same contact with the same ID again? No, you cannot because um, it's a marketing email. You, so you should not be, even accidentally, you, you should not be able to send it multiple times. So you can send it to one segment and then let's say half of the segment is another segment as well. You add the second segment and then those who already got the email will not receive it anymore. This is a pretty cool setting and very few marketing software can do it. I'm really happy that marketing does it. It's for our own safety. Ignoring unsubscribes. Uh, no, it does not ignore unsubscribes. So if you unsubscribe from an email, you will not receive the segment email anymore. Even if you are in the segments, so for example, you have 100 people in a segment, 99 unsubscribed, you will see that 99 emails are outstanding but actually when the send happens you will only send it to one that's super important so modic will not let you to send to unsubscribe obviously in this case later it will but let me cover this one first uh, obeying frequency yes it will obey the frequency so if you have like one email maximum one marketing email allowed a day and you're sending the second newsletter out it will be just queued so you it will be in a queue uh, uh, status instead of outstanding or sending or whatever or send. You cannot send twice the same uh, to the same contact, the same email if the setting is one. So the frequency setting is super important. You should always check it. If you see that your emails are queued, there's a problem with the set frequency setting. 
very often happens that someone like limits it to 10. I don't wanna have more than 10 uh, email communication with a client. And then you're testing the emails and suddenly you're not getting anything because of this setting. So uh, let's look at the template emails, but template emails can be also different. You can have transactional emails and you can have marketing emails. And this is the setting here, which I'm talking about. So when you're creating those uh, campaigns and you choose email sending, here is the, the place that you can choose. Is that email transactional or marketing? And many people just leave it transactional, you know, whatever. I'm just, I want it to be arrived. You know, I, I wanna make sure that they, they land in the, in, the, in the inbox. So what's the difference between the two? There is a tiny difference, which can actually make a big difference. But let's go through how a transactional email would behave. So a transactional email in a campaign, sent through a campaign, will not have a bulk precedence because you are not sending it in one big flow. It just, you know, sometimes when someone qualifies to be the member of the segment, campaign is launched, campaign action is launched, you're sending the email and that's not a bulk message. It's happening for that person for a reason. So that's why in the header, you don't have the bulk preference. Now, if you are a spammer, you might think, oh, okay, then I will just send all my emails as you know transactional emails through campaign. You can do that, please don't do it. Because on the long run, it will actually, your, your idea will actually fail. Uh, allow multiple. Now, this is really cool. You can have the same email twice if it's a transactional email. So you can have over and over again why is that because that's maybe a registration confirmation maybe that's a white paper you're trying to download and in the campaign action you're getting an email with the white paper if you want to have it again same day you should be able to have it maybe you have such a campaign action which is launching a personalized email based on your journey in the beginning of the campaign it might be different than end of the campaign you can use the same email but it will be filled out with different stuff. Like for example, it might be a um, abandoned cart which is changing through the day. This this is this is why you should get you should be able to get the same email multiple times. Ignore unsubscribe. Of course not. You should uh, you should always uh, this one always uh, uh, obeys the unsubscribe. So if you are unsubscribed, you will not get the transactional emails via campaign. And this was a little bit surprising for me because I was like, transactional should always go through, but it's not the case in Modic. We'll talk about this a little bit later. Obey frequency, uh, it does not obey your frequency. So that means you are setting that, okay, a person should not get more than three emails from me a day. If it's set to transactional, that email will be delivered no matter what, even 100 times. So it's very easy to set a loop in your campaign when you over and over again sending out the same email. And if it's set to transactional, it will not obey the frequency and you can actually spam someone multiple times if, if you set it up wrong. Okay, so let's see what if I choose marketing email in that campaign step. Now, marketing email is almost the same, but it's a little bit different. It will also not contain the bug precedence. What? Yeah, exactly. I was shocked about it too when I tested, but it does not contain the bug precedence. And again, it's because it's happening timely, separated. It's not like one big shot and everyone gets it, but it's like, you know, slowly, uh, slowly pushing out the marketing messages. So it's okay. Uh, you cannot send multiple times. So actually there will be, in the timeline, you will see something like, hey, this person already got this email. You cannot send it again. There will be an error, uh, which is really cool. But if you think that, well, like you're thinking why this person didn't get my marketing message, because maybe you already sent this. So even it's a campaign uh, triggered uh, template email, you cannot send multiple times if it's set to marketing. Of course, it's not gonna ignore the unsubscribe, which is very good, and it will obey the frequency. So suddenly you will see this message that, hey, due to the frequency settings, I cannot send this, but I'm gonna reschedule it for tomorrow, same time, and let's see what happens. And if your marketing email 
uh, by the marketing email, you said that, okay, this should be tried three times. After three times of rescheduling, if it cannot be sent anymore, so these tries are, you know, already more than three, then your email won't be sent at all. So what other ways can we still send messages? We can also send uh, in a form action by the actions in forms. You can send email to user, you can send email to, um, to a contact. And you can also write directly to a person. When you open their profile, there is an option, you can edit, you can close, and you can also send an email. So how those guys behaving? So in that case, um, if you use this form, like a, a form action, the bulk won't be in there. It will allow multiple times. So every time you do a form entry, you can actually get the email. It will ignore the unsubscribe, which is really cool because you might want to get, for example, a white paper again, and you might be unsubscribed at the point so in order to make sure that the Modic system admin don't have to change, like add another action, hey, remove this person from the unsubscribe, it happens, uh, 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 the email signing happens automatically. And it will also not obey the frequency. So as you can see, this com lives completely separately from any other settings. It's not too logical, but I kind of see the logic in there. Uh, it's the exact opposite of a segment email. And I think this, the setting is, is, is fine like this. This is what I would expect from, from the form settings. And the last, uh, the last one is here, uh, direct emailing, and that works the same way as the form. So that obviously it won't be bulk. You can write as many times as you want to a person. It will ignore the unsubscribe. So you can contact someone who unsubscribed before. Personally, you can contact. This is not a mess email, so why not? and it will not obey the frequency, which is really good. <clears throat> so as you can see, there are two, two places here, which are a little bit like questionable, these two here. So I would expect that in a marketing message, we would have a bulk precedence, but it's also not like, I can, I can understand why it's not like that, because uh, the bulk precedence is more like a one time, lots of emails at once type of, um, uh, sendings and ignoring unsubscribe as a transactional email I believe that would be also great if you have transactional messages they should be ignored yeah so it does make sense that that you are ignoring them but at the same time since this is the default setting I completely understand why it's uh, uh, why it's crafted this way so if it would be like I am saying, like I am setting here, then we could simply separate the marketing from transactional. So everything marketing would be the segment email, the marketing template email, and for transactional, we would have the transactional template email, form-based emails, and also um, the direct messages. It is not like that in Modic, so it is like this right now, and we should be happy with that, because I think this is a damn good setting. I hope this tutorial will help you to be a better emailer. Uh, if you would like to learn more about Modic, please come to my website, joeykeller.com. I have free tutorials, free templates, a bunch of free scripts. I'm teaching you how to use Modic in a more efficient way. And I'll be coming back with new videos regarding Modic, email marketing, marketing automation in the next weeks. Until then, keep automating.